What up, what it is, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. If you ain't a subscriber to my channel already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Y'all know what's up. It don't cost me nothing, don't cost you nothing. Just click that red button for me. So today, I finally got the uh, Pro Clip in for my uh, airlift controller, um, the actual piece that controls your bags. And um, I've been having it sitting in my... Uh, my little center console um for the past week or so um since i have my air suspension um installed so if you haven't already watched that video make sure you watch that video i'll make sure to post the link up here um make sure y'all check that video out man i'm super excited about getting this uh these bags installed on the car and uh, i've been wanting to get these bags for a hot minute a hot minute and ever since having them <laughs> it's no turning back i don't think i don't think any car I get from this point on um, I think at that point I'm gonna have to bag every car I get because like it's 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 amazing, man. Like I'm telling you, it's amazing. Like I'm gonna do a review on the bags probably in the next month or so, just to you know give it a good time frame so I can give you guys a good review on it. But so far I love it. But like I said, we're gonna get this pro clip installed and get this uh, controller mounted on the actual dash so so it looks clean inside the car. So here we have the two pieces that you need if you have a airlift management system. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of videos on YouTube about this, but um, yeah. Anyways, these are the two pieces you need. I'm gonna make sure to post the links to both of these in the descript video description below. Um, this came out to, I believe, a total of $60. I think this was 30 and this was 30. So yeah, I think it was $60. Don't quote me on that, but like I said, just um, check the video description below for the links of both of these, because you will need both. This is the actual mount that gets mounted on to the side of the center console close to your dash. And then this is the actual clip for the, um, the airlift controller that you have to mount in front. Um, if you wanted to get your phone mounted, then you will need the specific phone mount that comes with this, which is not this piece right here, um, but it mounts to this. This is the actual mounting plate. And then these are the actual accessory pieces that you can mount to the plate, whether or not it's a phone or whatever you want to mount. So we're going to get this thing uh, out the bag and we're going to get this thing assembled. All right, so this is everything unboxed. Well, out the bags, really. Um, again, this is the uh, clip that mounts to your dash, and this is the accessory clip that mounts to this piece right here. Um, it comes with all your screws and the little uh, separators in order to mount these little um, tabs between the, the dash pieces. You will see it here in a second. Um, but what you have to do there's a Phillips head screwdriver, a screw in here. Um, you unscrew that, which separates this base from this piece right here to be able to give you access to these little screw holes right there in order to utilize these screws to mount it to the surface right here. And this is what it looks like once you remove that screw. So you unscrew this little screw right here, it separates this and it gives you good access to be able to take these screws and uh, screw them into the little holes right here. Um, one of the things that you want to note, um, if you have a specific preference on how you want it to sit, whether or not you want it to sit down here or up here, make sure you um, go into your vehicle and do a test fit. Don't actually slide these things in there yet. I mean, you can, cause you can mount it in the car, um, but you want to test fit it just to see how you want it to be positioned because you can only mount it one specific way right here or right here. I wish they had it to where you can mount it in the center, but that's not how they design it. So you either have the option to mount it up here or down here. like that it is mounted on there so I just need to mount this piece um, with this little screw into this little hole right there boom and just like that it is mounted on here so in order to uh, 
be able to fit the uh, control inside here, these screws right here, this top one and this bottom one, you just have to loosen that up and then you'll be able to slide the prongs on the side in and out depending on how um, tight or how big your controller is. I mean, the airlift controller is one size. I believe all the controllers are the same size, um, but you'll be able to open this up and actually sit it in there perfectly and then tighten up the top and bottom screw because as you can see, there's notches right here for it to actually slide in and it won't go anywhere. So it's not like you have to worry about constantly adjusting it because it may get loose and it starts moving up and down and slipping. Um, these notches will actually, once you sit it in, it will hold it in there perfectly. All right, now let me just go to the car. I can see I have my pro not my pro clip but my my airlift controller just sitting right here and get this stuff out of the way big shout out to Mally Honey Customs again for uh, getting my bags installed but this is exactly where it will be mounted at all right so the little uh, spacers that come with the, uh, the pro clip little gapping spaces right now these slide right in here to kind of give you some uh, room to be able to slide the actual bracket in so this little tab right here slides right in here and this clip right here slides right in here so you want to be able to put that in here to kind of assist with being able to slide that, that lip in. So the best way to do this um, is, as you can see right here, there's a small lip. You wanna put this lip in first and then rotate it to this piece down here, all right? Because if you try to slide this piece in, trying to slide that in there, you, you potentially risk breaking something. So I would highly suggest you bring it in this way and then slide it over. Um, but before you do that, there is 3M tape to assist with holding this bracket in and place to where it's pretty sturdy once it actually gets mounted. So peel off this tape first and then um, install it. And just like that, it is in that literally took less than a minute to do. Let's clean some of this, clean some of this off. That's why I ended up having the uh, the separator in there to assist with putting it in. But it was real simple, real simple, and it looks nice and clean. So now I just have to adjust. Remember, I said you gotta loosen these screws up, and you'll be able to adjust these on the outside to be able to slide the actual holder in and it will look just like that so i'm gonna adjust these real quick um, to where it sits in there perfect and i just have to tuck that wire on the dash and i'll show you guys the uh, finished product Just like that, it is all installed. Very clean. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you see this wire right here. So I'm thinking about possibly relocating this wire and having it come out of here, but I'm not sure yet because this wire is pretty thick. And if I have it come out, coming out of here, it might give this piece a, a little gap right here that I don't like. So, but I mean, it's still convenient because if I actually need to remove this, I can just, you know, pull the wire a little bit and boom, it slides right out. So you just slide it back in there, tuck this wire a little bit more and it looks clean. Um, for those, oh man, I didn't even catch it in the groove. <laughs> All right, you just slide it in just like that, boom. One thing to note, if uh, this is not how you have to have it, you can adjust this as you uh, as much as you want. Just make sure the screw that's, the middle screw that's in here, this one right here, 
if you tighten this extremely tight, this will, it'll be a tough time to move this. So if you wanna be able to move this, make sure you loosen this screw up a little bit to where you have a little bit of play room. I have it pretty tight right now, as you can see, as I'm trying to move it, I'm flexing these little prongs right here. Um, I don't wanna continue doing that because I may end up breaking these. So it's to my liking. So it's tight enough for how I want it to sit. But you do have adjustability on this actual piece right here because it does swivel. But that's how it looks, y'all. So there y'all have it. Um, just a quick, simple install. Didn't want to go too crazy on the video. Uh, right now, I have her set on her current rod height. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys some uh, actual, a good review about a month from now on what I feel about these bags. Um, right now, I love it. I promise you guys, if this is something that's in your budget to do, um, or if you plan on doing it, do it. Because it, it definitely changed the rod quality of my car. Um, and I have adjustability on it. So like I said, I go over all that stuff in a review here in about a couple weeks to a month from now. Um, but uh, again, big shout out to ProClip for sending me the, um, the airlift controller dash mount. Looks super clean, very simple to install as you guys just saw. So if you guys have an airlift management system and you don't have the ProClip dash mount, make sure you get that. Make sure you get that. Again, the link is in the uh, description below for both pieces. Cause like I said, it is a two piece kit. So you have to order both pieces. All right. Um, but as y'all can see that thing, that thing is sexy, sexy. I don't have it aired out right now. It's on the ride, current ride height. So, but that thing is sexy. Again, make sure y'all check out my install video when I got my bags installed. Again, I'm gonna link it up here uh, for you guys to watch if you haven't saw that already. But uh, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video like crazy. If you haven't followed me on my Instagram or you want to follow me on my Instagram, make sure you follow me. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, make sure you hit me in the comments below or DM me on Instagram as well. Hashtag salute on all your pictures and videos uh, and certified drip as well, which is my newest hashtag. And that's going to wrap it up for today, y'all. So again, check out my bag install video because... I was super excited when I got this thing back. So again, shout out to Malahini Customs. But again, I hope y'all have a good day, YouTube.